All right, we have breaking news right now. Rupert Murdoch has now announced he is stepping down as the chairman of Fox Corporation and Fox News. Let me bring in CNN senior media reporter Oliver Darcy for more on this. It's been a long awaited question of what his plans were for the future, what his succession plan was. This is big news today. This is huge news. Rupert Murdoch saying, telling employees that he's stepping down as chairman of Fox Corporation and also News Corporation, which is his publishing arm. Uh, he wrote to employees saying he's in good health, but now is the time to step down. I want to read to you part of the note that just went out to employees oh, moments okay. ago. It says uh, here on my phone. Uh, the time is right for me to take on different roles, knowing that we have truly talented teams and a passionate principal leader in Lachlan, his son, who will become the chairman of both companies. Mm -hmm. And of course, Rupert Murdoch is one of the most powerful media moguls in the world. Uh, Fox News, um, everyone's familiar with it. It is the, the arguably the strongest uh, organ in the right wing media ecosystem. It propped up Donald Trump for many years. I think most people would uh, suggest that Donald Trump um, was strongly protected, obviously, by Fox News. And this is uh, Rupert Murdoch, uh, you know, biggest media company, and so he he controls all this. So him stepping down will obviously have not only uh, impact in the media world, but also in the political world. Kate, I'm just looking at this at this at this uh, memo letter that you forwarded, kindly forwarded to me, and uh, just looking at even just the second graph of this. Neither excessive pride nor for false humility are admirable qualities, but I'm truly proud of what we have achieved collectively through the decades, and I owe much of my colleagues whose contributions to our success have sometimes been unseen outside the company, but are deeply appreciated by me. I mean, this is, this is real. I mean, this is like the swan song. This is his farewell to the company. And interestingly, talk to me about Lachlan and what this now means as he now takes on officially a very huge role. Yeah, this is real life secession. So Lachlan Murdoch has been the chief executive um, of Fox, of these companies. Uh, but now he's going to take on this this role as as chairman um, and and really lead it officially. He's now he's now leading the companies without his father um, at his side. I think most people, you know, Lachlan has been chief executive, but most people would still say that Rupert was really the one making the major calls behind the scenes when it comes to things. Um, but now Lachlan is in the driver's seat, and he has. Um, come out on top. You know, there was a lot of questions over the years who would take over these companies. Um, initially, oh, it seemed absolutely. like James I mean, Murdoch, the yeah. other son, would take over. Then Lachlan came in and became chief executive. And now Lachlan is um, the one who is the heir apparent. What? Not what the heir apparent, the heir. The, yeah. the, the, the now, the man in, that it will be in charge. Yeah. What does this say and what do you think this will portend for this? massive media company for the direction that is Fox News for I mean he is not just any media mogul he had a strong hand in the direction things took and the people that were put in charge like the era of Roger Ailes right I, I think if someone like James Murdoch the uh, son who is uh, tends to be more liberal on things mm -hmm. uh, were to come into uh, power I think that would I mean, major changes are coming to the, the companies. Uh, but with Lachlan Murdoch, I think he's much more aligned probably with his father's vision. He's said to be very conservative on a lot of things. And so I'm not sure how much of a change editorially you'll see, but I, I, certainly there's going to be some change. You know, Lachlan is not his father. And so um, what that looks like, I don't know. I can't tell you right now. But I would imagine that someone new coming in taken the throne that is going to lead to some change. It's so interesting because even in this even in this letter he he takes a shot at um the like, the elites which is always a fascinating kind of juxtaposition because he's the definition of a media elite you you could very clearly say but he he also ends this with talking about in my new role. Is there yeah. any word of what new role he's talking about like this is honorary. not him going into but is this effectively he is going into retirement or he's taking on a different project from here on out i don't think anyone's ever going to say that rupert murdoch is going into retirement i don't think that's <laughs> something that he's capable of those words he's not capable of uttering but i do think this is as close as we're probably going to get to him announcing that he is stepping down i mean he is announcing he's stepping down uh from from these roles i mean he's 92 so uh, while people say he is in great health he has some had had some health scares mm -hmm. over the years and i imagine that even if you're an incredibly healthy 92 year old you know running these companies is a is a huge task and mm -hmm. so you need someone who's able to devote you know f the full attention uh that it takes to run these massive media companies and 
he's he's saying that he's going to hand that off to Lachlan. Look, and you've done so much reporting over the years of just kind of. The, I keep wanting to call it the, success, the succession, but yeah. it really is that. It's not just that amazing series um, of kind of how he had for years tried to groom his sons and like put them in positions. I remember the, the stories about it was either Lachlan or James that he would put in as like an internship. Uh, they put him in internships in the various companies and the headlines that would come out from it when one of them falls as, was seen as falling asleep on the job or something. Um, and just kind of what this it's it is a family family affair for for the Murdochs and what it is also done to this family. Yeah, and they, they, the empire used to be a lot bigger, right? I mean, Rupert sold a lot of the empire to Disney, mm -hmm. you know, the movie studio. And so now the empire that Lachlan will be taking hold of is still very powerful. It still has Fox News, you know, the Wall Street Journal, some very powerful entities in it. But it's not the big entertainment company that this once was. Uh, it is now mostly a news company and a, and a sports company. They do Fox Sports, obviously. Yeah. But it's not the big media giant it was. And so... While he is taking over, I, I think that it's not necessarily uh, the throne. The empire isn't as big as it once was, That's right? Interesting. There's so much. There's going to be a lot of reaction coming in and a lot of wonder of, you know, what now happens if there are already questions left now that we know that Lachlan is in charge. Stick around. I know you've got more reporting to come. So thank you so much for running up here, though, Oliver, in this breaking news.